So, 20 years ago, I was uh, on a stairwell and I stopped a colleague in the agency that's now Enterprise Ireland and I said, would you like, do you think there'd be any point in starting a support group for women in science? And I think if she had said no, we wouldn't be here today. <laughs> but Jane Toohey said yes. And so did the next woman I asked, Anne Saunders. And so did Claire O'Connor. So three out of three, I thought, we're, we're onto something here. <coughs> um, and the rest, as they say, is, well, not just history, but it's 20 years of a whole series of successes, of initiatives, of achievements, of projects and programs, and things we can be very proud of, I think. It's much more, and, I, and there's some of these documents we've produced in reports and policy submissions and so forth are here um, for you. Um, we've achieved so much actually that somebody is, for this 20th year, putting together an audiovisual compilation of the work that WITS has done. I think that's a testament to how much we need almost to art. We're actually employing, uh, I think, an archivist uh, at this stage as well too, to help us kind of collate the material that, that we have produced over the 20 years which is much more than we ever expected when we sat down around Jane Toohey's dining room table. I think if we had thought of the things that now we can look back on, we would probably never have got going, so perhaps it's just as well. But then that's, to some extent, what happens when you bring a few women around a table, and the creativity <laughs> that breaks out, and the solutions that get suggested, and ideas <laughs> that get proposed. Things happen. Great things happen and important things. And for instance, just to give you a flavour of some of the things that we've done in the 20 years, we were instrumental in getting Science Foundation Ireland to put together a grant scheme for people returning to work, and to get SFI to put together scholarships for girls into engineering, and to get SFI to put together initiatives to tackle some of the concerns at institutional level, and so it led to projects such as WISER and TCD. And I mention those three SFI things because SFI is, is the big agency on the science and technology funding landscape in Ireland, so I think we can um, be very proud of, of having uh, persuaded them to do that. And at the other end of the scale, we've done things like career advice programs and role model days for schoolgirls. A talent bank. It was one of the first things, actually, that we did at our inaugural meeting. We, we uh, started work on a talent bank of women who could be nominated to state boards and authorities. Something that I see is still needed. There is the Innovation Task Force, I think, is to report later this week, am I right? So oh, to yeah. that. And so I happened to look at the Innovation Task Force membership uh, just yesterday. There's 23 mem there were 28 members and three of them were women. So that's why we're still going today wits. We have not worked ourselves out of uh, existence at all. And I was intrigued this morning listening to the results from the Oscars. I would have thought the arts was somewhere where you know, women's achievements were on a par with men to hear that it's the first woman director to win an Oscar, uh, Catherine Bigelow, for uh, The Hurt Locker. So that's why WITS is still here uh, today. We've also done major projects with the Open University, Intertrade Ireland, and now the new Opportunities for Women programmes. Policy submissions to various state agencies. We've done books. This is something I've been involved with myself, and it's been really lovely to be involved with two books celebrating the lives and legacies of historic Irish women scientists and pioneers. It's really nice to remember them and write them back into uh, the history books. And at the very small level, professional development and training programs for women, either at a personal or professional level. So we've done a whole range of things. And also that intangible support network, which is why so many of us are friends 20 years later. I often thought in the early days our original logo was an eye for insight and the suffragette colour. But I also thought an alternative logo could be the dining room table because so much of the early work <laughs> around <laughs> dining room tables was stuffing of envelopes and folding of newspapers and planning of things and so much project work. 
Um, but an alternative logo I also thought would be a swan, that elegant creature, stately, you know, moving, gliding across the water, and underneath it all, a ferocious amount of work going on, which is the work that has been done over the 20 years by so many women in WITS, by members of executive committees, uh, working groups, individual members themselves, and often even their friends and family who would get roped in for things. It's what has made WITS such a success, and which has allowed WITS to make such a contribution for women in science and technology in Ireland today. So if you have your glasses, I'm going to ask you to raise a toast, please. Friends and women, and then join me as well. Thank you. Toasting International Women's Day and the women in science and technology in Ireland. Cheers. 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 Cheers.